Hello guys and welcome to my 14th uh, beginner Excel tutorial. Um, this tutorial is going to show you how to use the filtering and auto filter uh, tools uh, in Excel. So the first one I'm going to show you is filter. So if you highlight a set of data and click A to Z, uh, this will sort it in alphabetical or numeric order. Um, and uh, what will happen is if you select a column it'll ask you whether you want to expand the selection or continue with the current selection well I you pretty much always want to expand the selection because if you go continue um, with the current selection then it will order them but it won't change anything next to them so you lose all of your um, all of your data. Uh, luckily these guys are in the right order anyway and that means that my virus scan has just finished um, so I'll check that out in a minute um, but yeah if you do sort then you'll notice that all of the things alongside it if you do continue with current selection um, then nothing else moves so we don't want to be doing that because then all of your uh, information gets skewed the other way to get it, get your information skewed is if you have blank columns and even hidden blank columns if it, what happens in these situations are Excel will treat this as two different tables of data so if we go and filter this data we'll go, do you want to expand? yep, sort um, and really we want to do Z to A because otherwise it's not going to make a difference it's now sorted these but it hasn't sorted all of these because these are in a completely different table so you didn't want to be doing that either so the best thing for you to do is just make sure any tables of data are all just one no gaps this way no gaps this way um, and then you won't get any problems um, if you sort by number then A to Z expand and it will put them in numeric order and if you put do it by date A to Z sort and it will do them in date order um, which is essentially numeric order as they're the uh, date serial numbers uh, are sitting in the background um, so that's how you use the auto filter feature you can also go to data uh, sort and then you can get it to sort by uh, a, a column and you can choose your different fields that you want to sort by um, and whether or not it's got a header row this one does have a header row click OK and it will sort by all three of those things then um, and then that is all of um, sorting so that's quite a useful thing you use it quite often um, let's put it back um, you notice if you don't highlight any data it will just do it all automatically um, and it does everything in the table so that's quite a quick way of doing it and you can do the you can highlight the whole column and do the whole column as well um, Next is auto filter. So to do this, select your top your top header row, click on data, um, and click filter, auto filter. And you'll notice that you get lots of little um, arrows pop up, little drop down arrows next to all of your fields. Um, and what this allows you to do is go, okay, I want to select just males and it will hide all of the cells in between for you notice that they're hidden uh, not gone so they are actually still there um, so if you start deleting things like this then you start messing around with all your data um, so generally avoid deleting anything whilst in auto filter the other thing is do not run any macros on data that's been auto filtered as it just doesn't like it um, it really struggles and you'll mess up all of your data and you can't even press undo on macros so that's, that's just a big no-no don't use it um, 
so yep you can f select just females and then we want to say just this date um, and just this person and you can drill everything down if you go to t data filter show all it gets rid of all of them um, you can do custom filters so if you go on custom and you can do it's greater than ten pounds um, and is less than fifty pounds and I'll give you all the ones between ten and fifty pounds um, which is quite useful um, and you can do doesn't equal to so you can make it not equal to uh, say today um, and that gives you all of the ones that aren't equal to it so again this is really useful um, you can do sorting on it so you can quickly go I want to sort by these ones um, and it's just generally quite a useful tool um, but one that gets trumped by pivot tables that I'll be showing in an advanced um, in advanced Excel tutorials later on um, so if this if this you find this really useful wait until you learn pivot tables and they're gonna blow your mind um, so that's it for this tutorial thanks for listening and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial